reproduction in animals Fertilization. What is the role of sperm and an egg cell in the reproduction? How does the reproduction take place? Let us see. The sperms from the male are released into the cervix of the female reproductive system. The sperms travel from the cervix to the fallopian tube where the female egg cell is present. When sperms come into contact with the egg cell, out of million sperms, only one sperm is able to fuse with the egg cell. The fusion of sperm cell from male and an egg cell from the female is called fertilization. During fertilization, the nuclei of the sperm and egg unite to form a single nucleus which results in the formation of a fertilized egg called zygote. Zygote is the beginning of a new individual. Since it is formed by the union of one cell from the male and one from female, it inherits some characters from both the parents. For example, if you observe yourself in the mirror, you may find the color of your eye is inherited from your father, while the color of your hair is inherited from your mother. Types of fertilization There are two ways by which fertilization takes place. Internal fertilization, external fertilization. Fertilization which takes place inside the body of female is called internal fertilization. In humans, cows, dogs, cats, fertilization is internal. Even in hens, the fertilization is internal. The egg is fertilized first in the hen's body before it is laid. When fertilization takes place outside the body, it is called external fertilization. Usually it occurs in water. For example, in frogs, Male and female frogs move to the slow-flowing water streams. When male and female frogs come together, the females lay hundreds of eggs in water. Once the eggs are laid, male frogs release sperms in water. The sperms swim in water and come in contact with the eggs which results in fertilization. External fertilization is also observed in starfish and fishes. Can you guess why animals showing external fertilization lay so many eggs? The eggs and sperms get exposed to water movement, wind, rainfall and may also become prey for other animals. Hence, to ensure successful reproduction, these animals lay many eggs. Development of Embryo in Humans Let's learn how a zygote develops further inside the mother's body. A zygote as a result of fertilization undergoes cell division repeatedly to give rise to a ball of cells. 
the cells then form groups. Each group begins to develop into different tissues and organs of the body. This developing structure is called embryo. Embryo embeds itself into the soft wall of the uterus. It continues to develop in the uterus. It gradually develops the body parts such as hands, legs, nose, ears, eyes, etc. The stage of the embryo during which all the developed body parts can be identified is called the fetus. It takes nine months for the fetus to develop completely into a baby. When the development of the baby is complete, the mother gives birth to the baby. The baby is pushed out of the mother's body through the birth canal or vagina. Test Tube Baby Sometimes, some females are unable to give birth to babies. There can be several reasons for this such as blocked oviducts or sperms cannot reach the egg cells for fertilization. In such cases, doctors suggest in vitro fertilization. In in vitro fertilization, egg cell from the female is collected first. The sperms from the male are collected and allowed to fertilize outside the body in a laboratory. In case the fertilization is successful, the zygote is allowed to develop in the laboratory for a week. Then the zygote is placed in the mother's uterus for the complete development. The babies born by in vitro fertilization are called test tube babies. Development of embryo in other animals. Hens also exhibit internal fertilization. Does that mean the development of the embryo in them is same as it is seen in humans? No. In hens, as soon as the fertilization is done, the zygote divides repeatedly and travels down the oviduct. When it is travelling, many protective layers are formed around it. Hard shell of the egg is the final layer that is formed. As soon as the hard shell is formed, the hen lays the egg. The development of embryo takes outside and it takes three weeks to develop into a chick. During this period, hens sit on the egg to provide sufficient warmth to the developing embryo. Once the chick is completely developed, it bursts open the eggshell to come out. In case of animals with external fertilization too, the embryos develop within the egg covering. As soon as the development is complete, the eggs hatch to give birth to young ones. Viviparous and oviparous animals Depending upon the mode of birth of individuals, animals are of two kinds. Viviparous animals and oviparous animals. Animals which give birth to their young ones are called viviparous animals. Humans, cows, dogs, cats are viviparous animals. Animals which lay eggs are called Oviparous animals Sparrow, 
frog, lizard, butterfly, parrot, a oviparous metamorphosis. In some animals, individuals which are hatched from the eggs undergo different stages till they become adult. Each stage is different from the other. The features which are present in adults may not be found in these stages. This is metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is the development of larva to an adult through different stages. For example, in frogs, the egg develops into a tadpole larva which can swim but cannot jump. It also looks different from the adult frog. The tadpole then soon transforms into an adult frog which is capable of jumping. Another example is the development of silkworm into butterfly. The egg of silkworm develops into a caterpillar. The caterpillar develops into the pupa, which finally develops into a beautiful butterfly. It is indeed amazing to know about the diversity in the way animals reproduce. Summary The fusion of sperm cell from male and an egg cell from the female is called Fertilization During fertilization, the nuclei of the sperm and egg unite to form a single nucleus which results in the formation of a fertilized egg called zygote. There are two types of fertilization, internal fertilization and external fertilization. Fertilization which takes place inside the body of female is called internal fertilization. When fertilization takes place outside the body, it is called external fertilization. External fertilization usually occurs in water. When male and female frogs come together, the females lay hundreds of eggs in water. Once the eggs are laid, male frogs release sperms in water. The sperms swim in water and come in contact with the eggs which results in fertilization. Animals showing external fertilization lay many eggs because the eggs and sperms get exposed to water movement, wind, rainfall, or may also become prey for other animals. A zygote, as a result of fertilization, undergoes cell division repeatedly to give rise to a ball of cells. The cells then form groups. Each group begins to develop into different tissues and organs of the body. This developing structure is called embryo. Embryo embeds itself into the soft wall of the uterus. The stage of the embryo during which all the developed body parts can be identified is called the fetus. It takes nine months for the fetus to develop completely into a baby. When the development of the baby is complete, the mother gives birth to the baby. The baby is pushed out of mother's body through the birth canal or vagina. Female are unable to give birth to babies because of blocked oviducts or sperms cannot reach the egg cells for fertilization. In in vitro fertilization, egg cell from the female and sperms from the male are collected and allowed to fertilize outside the body in a laboratory. 
In case the fertilization is successful, the zygote is allowed to develop in the laboratory for a week. Zygote is then placed in the mother's uterus for the complete development. The babies born by in vitro fertilization are called test tube babies. In hence, as soon as the fertilization is done, the zygote divides repeatedly and travels down the oviduct. When the zygote is traveling, many protective layers are formed around it. Hard shell of the egg is the final layer that is formed. When the hard shell is formed, the hen lays the egg. The development of embryo takes outside and it takes three weeks to develop into a chick. During this period, hens sit on the egg to provide sufficient warmth to the developing embryo. Depending upon the mode of birth of individuals, animals are of two kinds, viviparous animals and oviparous animals. Animals which give birth to their young ones are called viviparous animals. Animals which lay eggs are called oviparous animals. Metamorphosis is the development of larva to an adult through different stages. In frogs, the egg develops into a tadpole larva which can swim but cannot jump. It also looks different from the adult frog. The tadpole then soon transforms into an adult frog which is capable of jumping. The egg of silkworm develops into a caterpillar. The caterpillar develops into the pupa which finally develops into a beautiful butterfly.